Hello and welcome back to the Cock Dice. In tonight's conversion video, I'm tackling the Storm Reapers chapter of Space Marines. It's an ultimate founding chapter of the lineage of the White Scars, so we're going to pull a lot of that into tonight's model. The parts I've got, obviously an intercessor body. Uh, this is an assault intercessor, of course, White Scars successor. Um, I've grabbed some bits from White Scars, Space Wolves kits, uh, and I've also raided the Age of Sigmar Stormcast range for some kind of lightning bolt themed uh, accoutrements for him. The only other bit I'm adding to this is the Storm Reapers uh, chapter symbol is a double-headed axe. They are incredibly hard to come by in the 40k and, and to a huge extent in the Age of Sigma range. One of the only suitable ones I've managed to find is this one here which is from the Fire Slayers kit. Uh, it's obviously covered in runes in the centre. I reckon we can just green stuff across that, smooth it out a little bit and it'll look bob on. So I'm going to try that. Um, obviously we need to lose the kind of fancy-esque haft of it, so I'm going to add it to the top of this power mole, which is from... Oh, now I'm thinking. Death Watch. I'm going to go with Death Watch. So, for tonight's conversion, the first job in hand is going to be get your intercessor stuck together and onto a base. This is uh, one from one of the, uh, the full kits, so I don't have to mess around quite as much with it. So it's going to be a matter of just sticking together, arms, legs, torso, uh, we may as well stick his backpack on uh, and he'll get him stuck on over there. So whilst he's taking a little bit of time to dry, we'll sort this guy's axe out. So, first job is we need to remove this mace head from the top here and that's pretty simply just a matter of cutting across just under the mace with a sharp knife. So now I've got a sharp knife blade on again, we're just going to trim this and be super careful because this is fresh out of the packet and likely very, very sharp. So you just need to level off the top here, make sure it's nice and flat and we've got something good to get the uh, axe head attached to. Now the axe head we're going to cut off just under here, it's going to be a bit of a change in distance but it'll be fine I'm sure. Um, I just want to make sure I've got enough room on here to get his shoulder pad under the arm. Uh, get the shoulder pad under the axe because it looks a bit tight. And of course we don't want to make too short an axe because that'll look weird. And then finally on this model we want to take his hand off and I want to swap it onto this arm so it's, if you're looking at the arm and the body, it's lower down. He's going to carry it lower down in his body. So again, we just need to cut off here and I'll get the big knife for this. So one less chance of me snapping a blade. Like so, and just clean up the top there that back in the bits box and then the connection there you can just take your knife and just clean up just a wee bit then we do the same on this arm I'm going to do it from the other side this time so we want to take it just in front of this um, wrist guard wrist connector thing too much is better than too little we've done it pretty much perfectly there There we go. And now we can re start rebuilding this and the, with the model that we just put together. So we want the axe showing, so we want to tip it up a little bit. Like that. And we'll tip his arm back there. I'm not going to glue it onto his body yet. Just check all around, make sure the connection is decent there. So as you can see, I've got, I think I've cut it too high. I'm going to drop it so it fits on there. I'm also going to take, flatten off this top bit here. While the spikes are always cool, they're a bit chaosy, and the symbol for the chapter doesn't have a spike on the top. I want to try and replicate that look just a wee bit. Just trimming the top down a little bit there. And then same on the bottom, I'm going to cut just under the... I think it's a lantern on the uh, fire slayers there. So I'm going to give this a little bit of time to dry while we get something on with the rest of the model. So while Axe is drying, we're going to get the rest of this model built up. First of all, his gun arm. Now, because he's going to be pointing his pistol forward, you're going to be able to see the barrel. And I don't always do it on these conversion videos. I'm going to drill the barrel out. So, easiest way to start doing this is find the middle of the barrel with a knife or an awl. Just mark it a little bit. 
and get a pin vice drill with a one millimeter drill bit and we're just going to place that in the hole that we've just built and very gently just drill into the barrel and we only need to go about five or six mil in and you'll start to see it hit the side vents in a moment it's doing it just about now that's as far as we need to go there and then you can either switch to a slimmer uh, drill bit or you can just go with another one and we're going to drill i'll show you on the camera see this uh, hole in the side here we're going to drill that straight through to the other side and nice and level it shouldn't take more than a couple of seconds and there we are through the other side look at that oh got it central for once i won't tell you the number of times i messed that up so glad i got it right today on camera so this arm's going forwards he's going to be pointing his pistol forwards whilst charging at the enemy so like so and then we'll give him a head and make sure his head's following the pistol I've gone for a bald head this time uh, with a nice scarred face it just seemed to fit his character quite nicely and that just knocks his hand Let's reset that again so what I want to do we want to make sure a the pistol is um, uh, parallel with the floor and then you also want to make sure that his face is pointing in the same direction as the pistol is because nobody would fire any other way so there he is running forwards he's got his axe hanging back here ready to swing it with that now whilst the bald head is pretty cool one thing that kind of screams white stars more than white stars white scars more than anything else is a top knot this one's come from Stormcast Eternals kit. It's one of their uh, helmet ones from, oh, I don't know. One of the ones, I think one of the ones covered in furs. Um, can't remember what they're called. Hunters, Vanguard Hunters, something like that. So I'm just trim the helmet connecting piece off. So we've got a nice level bottom there. As this is going no further than my display cabinet, I'm simply gonna pull in all my wires. I'm simply going to add a dab of glue to his head, right on top there, hair all pulled up, and we're going to add this to it. Yeah, for some reason in 40k, um, loyalists never seem to have top knots, apart from, I suppose white, because there's a couple in white scars and done before. It's always chaos chapters. I don't know, okay, are, are top knots particularly chaotic? They're cool. Really, you should probably have it slightly further back, but because of his backpack, you, you're never going to get it uh, angled back. You need a completely different shape to the hair. It should really be. You normally do it at the, right at the back of your skull, diagonally opposite your face, rather than straight on the top. But you know, rule of cool. So again, I've raided the Stormcast parts um, section of my bits box, and I've got this uh, rather cool belt tassel thing. I think it actually comes from a shoulder pad. Um, I can only find one that swings that way. I'd prefer one that swung the other way really. But for tonight this one will do. I'm going to have to do a bit of surgery on this. The first piece is I'm going to trim, take the diagonally across this bit right, to free this one on the end up. Like that. Test again. Once it's just curling around his leg. And then we're going to take, cut straight across there. And we'll test fit it again. It's got a little little thunder strike or two just kind of carrying over that chapter symbol onto some of his war gear got the same again this is a rather cool looking knife from stormcast now well actually i can fit the whole thing on you might want to trim the, the stormcast um runic script stuff off i think i'm just going to leave it on actually uh, it looks kind of cool enough for this guy and we're just going to drop that on his belt down here and then to carry on the kind of feverly feel, we're going to drop a wolf's pelt just attached to his pistol here. Now, you could just glue it on the bottom there, but that's not going to give you a particularly good connection. So what I'm going to do is cut a slight diagonal line across those rings there. I want to have it coming back towards him, just a slight line across there like that, cutting in the mid in mid air here. So I'm doing a slight gentle soaring motion like that. And that should give us a pretty good connection to stick this on with. And finally, we're back to the axe. And all you're going to need is a little ball of green stuff. Just get a wee little bit of this. And we're simply going to smoosh it over here using the kind of dish end of your 
um, tool, push it into all those holes, just force it in like so. Do this on all four sides, so we'll flip it over, do it on this side as well, uh, and then we'll clean it up in a minute and get it nice and smooth. Now, you're never going to get this super smooth whilst it's attached to the model like this and whilst it's still wet. And you can see every time you push through one way, it sticks out a little bit on the other side because the holes go all the way through. What I'd recommend here is leaving this overnight, doing any other clean up uh, tomorrow night with maybe a little green stuff, letting it cure all over again, and then just taking a fine bit of sandpaper to it and just sand across these edges and get this surface here really nice and flat. You can also take a knife just around any of these curves where you've spilled over a little bit and just very carefully trim it up uh, and that will otherwise be done. So for now that's popped on the model and that is our finished Storm Reaper Space Marine. I'm going to give this a little time to dry up, clean up the axe, get him painted up. You however can just hang on for a moment and the video of him painted is coming up right about now. Thanks for watching. And thanks for joining us here at The Clock Dice. Why not like this video and add a comment below? It really helps boost the channel. And while you're at it, if you click on the icon below, you can subscribe to the channel for all the latest updates as soon as they're live. Why not check out some of our other videos and playlists? You can click on the ones on screen right now. Take care, and we'll see you next time.